hey guys what's up welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're visiting my channel for the very first time hi my name is emma kamau i am a youtuber based in zambia and i'd appreciate it so much if you subscribe to my channel for all my returning subscribers and viewers thank you so much for watching another one of my videos i love and i appreciate you so so much and if you're not subscribed please 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 do consider subscribing i do create some great content for business and myself and i would love to have you as part of you know little family little gang or whatever so please make sure you subscribe to my channel um in today's video i was answering a couple of questions whilst doing my makeup um i tackled a little bit of everything so um if this is something that you would love to watch and also how i achieve this you know little simple makeup look then please do keep on watching and i hope you enjoy it all right guys so i'm just going to start this tutorial i kind of did my hair although i don't like how it's looking but we're going to fix it at the end because i just figured if i choose to fix it now i'm gonna take forever and we're never going to start with this video um so uh where did the intro so let's go and get straight at it the first question i was asked is if i am engaged um so no guys i'm not engaged like if i was engaged fam you would know like you wouldn't have to ask me am i engaged or not like you would know that i am engaged um the confusion came from i think two vlogs ago i um yeah two vlogs ago two vlogs ago i I was out like valentine's day i was out at dinner with my boyfriend and somebody proposed to his girlfriend and the girlfriend has like a similar body type as me and we're both wearing red dresses so people assumed that it was me um so no i am not engaged that was not me somebody in those lines asked though like you know what's your perspective of marriage i think they asked like uh when do you plan on getting married or, or when's the right age to get married in my opinion um i'm really looking forward to get ma getting married one day um not today not tomorrow but i am looking forward to get ma getting married um i feel like i found you know my person and i'm very happy and content with the way i am loved so i do really look forward to getting married um when it comes to an age I don't think there's a specific age like you should be married at this age or that age or that age that's one of the reasons why a lot of people fall into depression and start overthinking situations um there's no specific age there's no right age to get married i feel like when you are financially stable is a great time to get married and also when you're mentally in the space to get married is when i feel like you should get married so for me personally there's no specific age just trying to work on myself, my mind, my finances, um, and so many different things. Like, I feel like I want to be fully prepared for the time that I do decide to say I'm going to be somebody's wife. Uh, but in the meantime, there's no rush. I'm still pretty young, so yeah. But my view on marriage, I am really looking forward to it. Another question I got asked is, how did you start your business i've been asked this question so many times until this day i don't really know the exact way i can respond to that um so basically for me my business especially the salon rooted from genuine joy and the love of hair um so that's how i started my business i took what i loved and i you know try to make a living off of it that's why i enjoy what i do even if i don't directly do the hair myself the fact the fact that i'm just like involved in that whole process is something that i genuinely like i genuinely enjoy so i guess that's how i started if you are talking about like <coughs> financially um i did work before i started my business so nobody gave me the money i did work for three months and i was saving the entire time i knew what i was saving for so it helped me stay um focused um so yeah if, if that's i hope i answer that question right because sometimes i don't know if i'd be answering the, that specific question um so the next question that i got asked which i thought was a very very good question is how do you handle any form of friendships or relationships in your 20s um for me mamas uh my 20s i i have lost so many friends i can't even i can't even count at this point um no, i'm not claiming to be perfect i never will claim to be perfect obviously i had um my fair share of thoughts i mean faults in the ending of these friendships 
but i will tell you that it's good to just be honest with yourself for the most part we know who's good for us and who's not we know what kind of character we should be having in our lives and what character we shouldn't the key is to be honest with yourself and not make excuses for people like for me one thing i really struggled with is because i have a soft spot for people because the friendships i lost is one people that i just met yesterday or two days ago these were people who were part of major parts of my life you get like they were part of big big parts of my life and so many moments and so many memories that i made with them it wasn't easy to lose that friendship but i found that i often made so many excuses for people people would treat me badly or just treat me poorly and i always try to make an excuse for them because that's how much I love them and that's how much I really wanted them to be in my life never make excuses for people people will treat you exactly how they feel about you don't try to justify any any of it do not justify any of it just if they treat you one way that's because that's how they feel about you and don't make excuses for them that's one thing you need to learn how to do and always 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 learn to put yourself first when it comes to friendships let me tell you that much put yourself first your mental health if you know that your friendship is too draining it's tiring you're constantly arguing for no good reason it says problem after problem after problem you do not need that in your life at any age whatever it is 20s teens adulthood whatever it is you do not need that kind of energy into your life so that's how i handle relationships in my 20s i just like what are you giving me to be honest like what's my gain from this friendship and it sounds very selfish and it sounds like i'm so materialistic but honestly i do not have time to waste like if you can't even give me what i'm giving you what's the point of our friendship so try handling things like that and see how it goes for you hopefully it works out the next question i got asked is do you plan on um getting your master's degree to be very honest with you of all the decisions of my life this one has been the hardest guys like there are days where i'll just be like wait that's the wrong color days where i'll just be like okay fine i'll get my masters further my education you never know what happens and then there are other times where i'm just like i could you know getting a masters is not cheap like i'm just telling myself like oh my god i could use that money or in like you know investing in a different business and stuff like that and like i'm also questioning like do i I feel like if I am getting my master's it's because I need a plan B but it's like why am I planning to fail like why shouldn't I place all of my energy into um, progressing myself as an entrepreneur but then other days I'm just like you never know so I'm still really um, I'm very undecided about it if I'm being very honest I'm really praying to God that I just like make up my mind about it already um, because if I do decide to get it out, I'd like to get it as soon as possible, just so, just so I can get it out of, out of the way, and I don't have to like keep on stressing about it as much as I have been. So, in terms of my masters, I still don't know. I still don't know, um, but I'll, I'll know soon. I can feel it in my heart that I will know for sure, for sure, very soon, whether or not I'll go back to school. Or not but ugh, i am dreading it i did not enjoy my okay i did enjoy it but like i didn't enjoy it <laughs> like being in school my uni experience thank god for the friends that i had who got me like through it mentally because um, school is it's a whole ball game that i don't know if i'm ready for but i don't know we'll see i'm not sure to answer that question I am not sure. Next question is, what are the two major things that business has taught you? Business has taught me a million different things. Okay, it's taught me so many different things that it's hard to just pick two. Um, but one of the biggest things is there's actual power in consistency and people don't understand that. I feel like that's where a lot of us business owners here in Zambia miss it. So we see this idea and it looks glamorous and whatnot, but then being consistent with it and actually seeing how much work goes into being a business owner is just crazy um consistency is everything you always want to show up for yourself even when it feels like nobody's listening nobody's watching continue to post whatever it is your business is continue to do that because there's there's real power in that people might not respond right there and then but eventually if you're constantly showing up for yourself and your brand i bet you somebody will so just 
um, continue to be consistent, continue to talk about your brand, your business, whatever it is, and just show up. Another thing that business has taught me, let me see. Um, it's woken me up. Business has really, has really woken me up in just in terms of in in so many different ways like i don't know how i can put this in in terms of like friendships in terms of guys there are just so many things but business has just woken me up they just said mom wake up you sleepy um yeah and it's not always great not that that was part of the question but yeah business has also taught me that Another thing, when you're a business owner, do not admire other people's businesses. Let me just use that as a second point to answer that question. Never think that your business is not as good as, as this other person. You do not know what other people are dealing with. You don't know. You do not know what other people are dealing with. Never compare businesses and say like, oh, this girl's business is doing so well, yet I'm doing the same thing and it's not. Never. Never. You never know what people are hiding. You never, ever know. So never compare your business to somebody else's. Okay, so next question is somebody asked me how do you boss up even when you don't feel good about yourself? Um, not feeling good about yourself guys is something that's extremely normal, okay? Even the most confident person in the world has insecurities of their own. It's becoming clear as day, um, especially nowadays, that there's so much that people don't talk about. So how do you boss up even when you don't feel good about yourself? This is one thing that you should do and you should always always do this just remind yourself of whose child you are and that's more than enough you are a child of a god not a god the god him himself you are a child of somebody who can create miracles who can make the impossible possible and that situation is so small and so insignificant to the power that he has to heal you so for me whenever i just feel sad I just feel down i'm just like baby girl you are the child of the most high and there is nothing there is nothing that you can do to ever um disappoint him or make him feel ashamed of you as long as you always go back to him in prayer um so that's the biggest thing how do you feel like i just remember whose child you are and go to your to your father and just talk to him vent let it out to him letting stuff out to human beings like friends sometimes it's not always and i'm not saying it's bad but it's not always the best thing sometimes just just talk to god because you never know it, it's it's it might seem like a little cliche you find yourself in a corner talking to yourself but there's peace that comes with that when you're talking to him genuinely from your heart so just remember whose child you are and always go to him always talk to him and he's always going to listen to you and he's always going to pull you through a situation Okay, so I'm getting really good questions, guys. Um, so the next question that somebody asked me is, what's the end game for your brand? Uh, for my brand, to be honest, I, I, I one day see myself going to an international level as well. I know it's not going to happen today or tomorrow or next week, but I have faith in my heart that I'll go to a level that I'm going to make my country proud as a small as an influencer um, on an international level. I do believe that that's going to be possible for me. I want to be able to make a steady income off of um, my brand itself. And I kind of already do, <laughs> to be very honest, uh, because I say this because the more my personal brand grows, the more Emma Kamau grows, the better it is for my other businesses. So I do feed off of this. Um, but yeah, that's the goal, to make um, my country proud on an international level and i know it's just a matter of time and i know it's going to take a lot of hard work and consistency it's also going to require the support of my country people but i really believe that like that's that's my goal as long as my my my, my people say we have her we have emma she's our rep you know that's my that's my goal and i'll continue to work towards it i believe i can so somebody asked me what's one thing you would tell your 18 year old self one thing i'll tell my 18 year old self mama is you're not thinking too big are you still like think that i'm just thinking way too big and my, my my dreams are way too big for my age if anything you're not thinking big enough don't let this world poison your thought and i would go back and i'll just tell myself that i am really proud of you because i remember i started the salon idea when i was like 19 right and 18 is when i was thinking about it i always choke up like why am i so freaking emotional why anyway i started when i was like 18 thinking about it and like 19 
and i remember so many people discouraged me you guys i can't tell you i can't tell you how many people discouraged me from like wanting to like open the shop and stuff like that and yeah i'll go back in time and tell myself that you're not crazy for thinking the way that you think and i'm so proud of you mamas because it wasn't easy but you did it so i'm so proud of you and that's my advice to anybody else who'd be like 18 or thinking of starting an idea a business or whatnot you're not crazy for thinking about it that idea is placed in your heart for a reason and you should follow your heart regardless always 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 follow your heart okay, so the next question i got asked is how do you fight your friendship um battles i don't I don't i no longer do that if a friendship is too heavy for me if it feels more like a burden than anything else it's not worth it and i'm letting it go i am so cautious these days of i don't know how i'm going to talk and do this but i am so freaking cautious of who i allow into my space these days because most people just aren't worth the stress so how do i fight those battles i don't i don't Especially if I feel like this friendship is not worth fighting for, it's not beneficial, it's not growing and developing me as a human being, I'm not going to fight it. I'm just going to let it go. Because if it's really for me, it shouldn't have to like feel so heavy and so unnecessary. You know what I mean? So, I don't. Okay, so somebody asked, what did I do to prepare like preps for starting um, my business? Well, I did my research every single video possible okay not every single video because there are a lot but like i watched a lot of videos that were in line with what i was trying to do i did my homework i did my research on it i did also research on um in terms of financing how to save how i can save how to be cost effective i literally just made my business my business and i ate slept slept <laughs> breathed <laughs> breathed Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. But yeah, basically I just did my research. I did my homework. I asked different people. I was not ashamed to ask. Trust me, I asked. I was not ashamed to ask. So yeah, that's how I prepared for the business. I just did as much research as possible in the type of business that I was trying to get into. Okay, so somebody asked me, how did I find Unilas? Like my experience there? And what was the grading systems like? Honestly, guys, if I'm being very honest with you, I personally feel like Unilas is one of the best institutions here in Zambia. That school, school is hard everywhere, but that school is extremely, extremely professional. I really got to appreciate Unilas because when COVID hit and we're supposed to do online classes, I was talking to a lot of my friends at different other schools and they would tell me how classes basically just stopped. But with us, like Unilas was on it when our institution tells you that you're going to write an exam at this time they have a whole calendar set out you are going to write it at that time regardless of the situation when they tell you that the results are going to come out at a specific time they are going to come out at a specific time i feel like they are very very organized um and just even just their environment is very conducive for learning the um what can i say the computer systems everything like literally everything when i really respect that about that school it's everything is they are very professional in the way that they conduct themselves and they really hold themselves to a high standard and i really really love that so i love that in terms of grading systems to be honest with you i don't remember i don't remember <laughs> somebody asked what advice i would give somebody who is trying to grow their online business um if you're starting especially if you're just just starting let me be honest with you it's not going to be easy because everybody's going to be like oh again like another person doing this again like we already have enough of these people or just sometimes the reception isn't always going to be great but like i always said just show up whether you feel like people are listening or not i don't think this is the best idea oh shit. whether you feel like people are listening to you or not whether like you just feel encouraged or not always always show up for your business that's the only way that you're going to grow when you are putting your brand in people's faces if you keep your brand hidden and to yourself you're the only person who's going to know what you're doing and you're not going to buy from yourself now are you and also i don't feel like you should again don't compare and also give yourself realistic timelines don't expect yourself if you have product to like sell out in two days other people do other people don't everybody's experience is different so don't expect yourself to like sell out um there and then and like the way other people sell out then if you don't then you feel like your business isn't good enough that's the worst thing that you could possibly do to yourself just practice patience with yourself 
and like I said the main one is consistency okay so somebody asked what's your biggest fear in terms of business um, I feel everybody's fear is obviously the business dying <laughs> I feel like that's that's a great fear um, and also just losing confidence in myself because most of my things you know like some businesses I have a handmaid huh? and if I lose that confidence in myself then I'll not be able to I'll not have confidence in my brand and I'll not be able to produce products so just to to continue to lose confidence in myself I feel like would be very detrimental to the brand okay so I just had to do my last years off camera because I feel like I wasn't concentrating okay so the next question that somebody asked me is how is your mental health to be very honest with you oh my god I'm almost done with my zero <laughs> so, okay, so somebody asked me how is my mental health my mental health is okay it's okay to be very honest with you it's quite good uh like any human being um, I have issues of my own, whether it's personal, business, stuff like that. Um, but for the most part, I am fortunate enough to genuinely say that, you know, I'm happy. I'm in a healthy place where I like the pace at which I'm growing and changing and, you know, just becoming the kind of human being that I want to be. And being a lot, I don't want to say like stronger as if I'm like a prayer warrior or something like that but like the more i'm intentionally trying to you know oh that's a whole lot of sunscreen but yeah the more that i'm trying to um you know grow my relationship with god the easier it becomes because he's he's my scapegoat for when i get sad oh when i get sad and i you know i'm just not in the best mood that's really helped me out a lot. It's really helped my mental health be at a good place. So, yeah, to answer our question, and thank you so much for asking, first of all, because that's a very important to ask in this day and age where so much is going on and a lot of people are struggling with battles that they do not talk about. Um, so it's really nice of you to ask. But yeah, I'm blessed enough to say that I'm okay and, you know, genuinely mean it. Okay, so the next question I got asked is how do I pitch for a brand to work with me? So when it comes to collaborations, oftentimes a brand will reach out to you um, and then on a couple of occasions you can also reach out to a brand. For me what I did is I just have like a, I have a poster that I just sent to brands. In it I wrote my numbers on Instagram, YouTube and um, Twitter. I just wrote down my numbers, you know, my, my views. Because, you know, when you're working with a brand, you want to tell them why they should work with you in the first place. You know what I mean? Like, they need to know, like, why am I going to pay this person to advertise? Like, what's my what's my gain and why shouldn't I go to the next person? So you basically sell yourself. You just email them. Emails, I feel, are a bit more professional. You just email them and just, like, show them your numbers, you know? Uh tell them what you can do for the brand and all of that so yeah basically just have that have yourself organized write down what your analytics are and how the brand will, will benefit by working with you and then let them decide <laughs> God, let them decide somebody asked what is my aspiration in life and my aspiration is to be happy uh, <laughs> like the song the pretty words Anyway, back to being serious. Um, yeah, but genuinely speaking, I do aspire. Ultimately, ultimately, the goal is just to be happy with whatever it is that I am doing with my life. And one thing that I feel like is going to make me reach that level is when I have kids. I really want kids, guys. I love them some babies. So I just can't wait for that stage in my life. I feel like that's when I'll reach my optimal level of happiness, if I'm being very honest with you. But yeah, happiness. Heaven is a goal, in it. <laughs> question is how did you and your boyfriend meet i feel like this this question pops up every time i do a q a um so again <laughs> for the hundredth time i met my boyfriend in school we met in university um i didn't really like him at first i thought he was really cocky and annoying <laughs> but yeah 
we got to know each other and vibed we laughed so much had made so many great memories in such a, in such a short space of time um because we were studying the same course we had all the exact same classes so whenever i was free he was free whenever i was busy he was busy and we sat together in class and we were literally just like even before we were a couple the school pretty much knew that we were a couple because <laughs> we're literally always together anyway and so yeah that's how i met your mom <laughs> yeah no that's how i met him yeah that's how we met okay so somebody asked if i plan on moving out of my parents house i've always preached how i'm never in a rush to do this to be very honest first of all i live in a highly highly central area like i'm near everything i don't really struggle in terms of movements i really love where i live <laughs> um and it's cheaper i live here rent free so am i in a rush to leave no but soon enough i'm going to have to because if you guys saw in the vlog i posted the other week i showed you guys a little bit of our new home um it is a little bit far so we're still dancing around whether we're going i'm going to go there or just get my own place and whatnot um it's still in the talks but yes i am going to have to move out i lucky i'm looking forward to it just because i just want to like experience not being home i'm that kid who never went to a boarding school i didn't really go anywhere during the holidays and the reason for that is like i i have like i grew up in a very big family so to accommodate all of us to go to one cousin's house was hard like i have a lot of sisters so majority of the times like even when it was time for like holiday and stuff like that my siblings i mean my cousins or other people that you would normally go visit for the holidays would just opt to come here because we couldn't go to other places because they couldn't like accommodate like that many kids <laughs> in one house so yeah i am looking forward to like um just seeing what life looks like outside this home i've grown up here my whole life and i not that i'm looking forward to it because like i said i love this house uh but i do just kind of want to just experience life outside this home so yeah that's the tea on me moving out I have so many dark spots, I feel like I have to have layers and layers and layers of foundation. <sighs> God of good skin. Locate me. <laughs> Locate me because I'm tired. I really love this question a lot. So somebody said, where in my own opinion do I see Zambian content creators? Like especially like YouTubers. I feel like... I feel like we are. I'm trying this different hack. Normally, I don't put on this much concealer, but I saw it on TikTok. Because it gave like that full cabbage look. So, anyway, I feel like, like I always say, we are making progress. I feel like there are more and more Zambians, thankfully joining this platform and also that joining the catching on to the vibe of being an influencer or a content creator i feel like there's so much room for improvement and i also feel like we've got such a long way we've got such a long way to go before people actually start to respect influencers and what they bring to the table but you know slow progress is progress still and i'm really proud of you know how we're starting to like see the use of influencers in this country like i said like i said we still have a ways to go but progress is progress no matter how fast or slow so i'm just thankful that people are seeing the use of influencers and there are people now out there who are you know respecting them to a point where that that they are paying influencers you know their worth these days so that's really good so yeah to answer that question we still have a long way to go mamas but um you know we're progressing and that's good that's good enough for right now 
Okay, somebody asked me how I manage all of my businesses. Um, so for those people who, you know, do not know me, be seeing me for the first time today, I have more than one business, and it becomes hard because I've, I've said this before. I'm sorry. I've said this before in the past where sometimes it feels like when I give my energy to one specific business, the other one suffers a little bit. But how I manage is just to know when to do what. I also try to do less, although that is kind of impossible because two of my businesses, I'm the only person involved in it. I can't really have help. But whenever I can get help from like the girls at the store, I would rather just they do something and then I focus on like the back end work as compared to me having to do every last thing that's one of the reasons why i do not do hair myself because i mainly focus on like the advertising and stuff like that you know posting taking pictures the content and you know finding new hair ideas and all that type of stuff so that's where i may i mostly focus my energy i i accept the fact that i am a human being and i cannot do everything at once you know i'm just little old me just trying to make it in this world so i just take it easy on myself and I do not do everything. Okay, so somebody asked me if I was born again. Uh, on that one, I don't know how to really answer it. The best I can say is I am in a stage of life where I'm currently working on my relationship with God and trying to get closer to him. So would I categorize that as born again? I don't know, you tell me. But I'm really in a phase where I am intentionally working on building a relationship with God. I know God loves me regardless of how distant I've been or how many flaws I have. But I'm really, I'm really in a stage where I I really want to see God. So if I don't know if I, should, I don't know if I can say that being born again. I don't really know. But yeah, that's. It's where I'm at. It's where I'm at. I don't know if I've answered that question, but that's where I'm at. Um, okay, so I feel like I've answered majority of the questions that I have been asked. A lot of them are just pretty much the same, just asked differently. So I'm just going to quickly finish off the rest of my makeup and conclude this video. Okay, guys, so I'm done. This is the vibe. This is the look. I decided to wear a yellow little sundress, you know, because I was giving off girly vibes. My earrings have little butterflies on them, and this one up here is like a heart, if you can see. Um, I was going to straighten my hair. Remember, I said in the beginning I didn't really like it, but I'm actually kind of late. <laughs> I'm actually kind of late, so I was just like, I'll just brush it up and just like, you know finesse the system so this is the look that we came up with i genuinely hope i am um, you guys enjoyed watching this video if you watched it to the end i love you you're such a real one thank you so much um and if i didn't answer any more questions feel free to follow me on my instagram and you can you know ask me those questions i'm always always willing um to listen or to respond so yeah that's the end of today's video and until my next video don't forget to like to comment and to subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye